Hello, this is Petro from Gullian Technology. Today I would like to show you how to configure HSRP on a Cisco router or switch. So make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gullian.uk. Let's get started. Right now, as you can see on my screen, I have two machines, two virtual machines. One is a Linux VM and the other one is a Windows machine. This is the topology that we will use in this lab. If you want to replicate or follow along, please visit my website gullian.uk where you will find the blog post uh, which explains how to configure this uh, lab and you will find there the information on how to run this in your environment. Now let's discuss about HSRP and how to configure it. HSRP stands for Hot Standby Router Protocol and it is a Cisco proprietary protocol. Therefore, you will be able to use it in your environment only if your all devices are Cisco devices. If you have devices from different vendors, you can use BRRP for the same purposes. You may ask yourself, why you need HSRP? As you know, in order for any device to reach the internet and exit from the local area network, it needs to have a default gateway configured. Usually the default gateway is a router. If the router is down, you will not be able to send traffic outside of your LAN. In order to increase the resilience within your network, you can add a second default gateway. However, as you might know, you cannot configure two default gateways on your OS. In order to mitigate this issue and have a redundant default gateway, you need to configure some sort of HFHRP. You need uh, to use a first hop redundancy protocol. Cisco devices support three such protocols. HSRP, hot standby router protocol, VRRP, virtual router redundancy protocol, and GLBP, gateway load balancing protocol. In this video, I will show you how to configure hot standby router protocol on a Cisco router and on a Cisco switch. We will start by configuring the router R2. Let's go to the router R2. This is the router R2. Let's check the active interfaces with the command show IP interface brief. I have two interfaces configured with an IP address which are in a NAP state. The interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 which is connected to this switch and the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 which is connected to the Internet. I will configure HSRP on the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 because this is the interface which is facing the uh, virtual machines from my lab, the desktops or the laptops in your case. Let's go in the global configuration mode by running the command conf terminal and press enter. From here let's go to the interface, sub, uh, interface configuration mode. I will run the command int and I will specify the uh, interface gigabit 0 slash 1. In order to configure the uh, HSRP, you need to run the command standby. Here you have some options that you can configure with this command. First, you need to specify a group number. I will go with number 10, stand by 10, I will use the context sensitive help and I will specify with the IP the IP address, the virtual IP address which will be used by my machines as the default gateway. Also with this command stand by 10 IP you enable the HSRP for IPv4. Let's add the virtual IP address in as you can see from the uh, diagram, the IP address is 
16.10.1 now we need to specify the uh, preempt option by default the preempt option is not uh, enabled on hsrp why you need pre the preempt option in case your router is your interface is going down the other router will take the active role and this router will not participate in the hsrp as soon as the issue related to the interface or to the router is resolved if you configure the uh, standby print command your router will take over the active role as you can see from the output we have a syslog message which says that on the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 the hsrp is configured and the state is active let's go ahead and add the print command standby then print oops i made me spell the standby standby then print press enter let's configure also the priority for this uh, group by default the priority is 100 i will configure the priority 120 for example standby priority 120 and i'll press enter and i will exit from the interface configuration mode with the end command now let's run let's add the same configuration on the switch here I am on the switch. Let's check the active interfaces with the command show IP interface brief. As you can see from the uh, network diagram, we need to configure the interface GI 0 slash 20. In my case, in the, this is the interface GI 3.0.20. This is the interface for which we need to configure the hsrp let's go to the global configuration mode with the conf terminal let's go to the interface sub uh, configuration mode with the command interface gi and let's specify the interface 3-0-20 and let's configure here the hsrp with the command standby let's specify the group which is 10 and let's specify the virtual ip address the virtual ip address is 172.16.10.1 we can enable the preemption with the command standby 10 preempt and press enter we don't need to change the priority on this machine we will use the default priority which is 100 let's exit from the interface configuration mode and let's check the status of the hsrp in order to check the status of the hsrp you need to run the command show standby and press enter let's read the output of this command as you can see the hsrp is enabled on the interface gigabit 3 slash 0 slash 20 the group number is 10 the state is standby the virtual ip address which will be used as the default gateway is 172.16.10.1 this is the mac virtual mac address also we can have we can check here the, that the preemption is enabled and we can see that the active router at the moment is the router with the IP address 172.16.10.2 as you can see from the network diagram this is the router R2 and from this output we can also confirm that the, this switch is the standby in our environment let's go back to the router and check the same command I will run show standby and I'll press enter here we have a similar output the difference is that the state on this router is active we have the same virtual IP address 
we can see that preemption is enabled and we can see that this router is the active router and uh, we can check also the you can use also uh, the command show standby brief in order to see a shorter output in this output we have the interface on which the hot standby protocol is enabled we can see the group number which is 10 we can see the priority which is 100 we can see the state which is active we can see that p the preemption is enabled and we can see that the current uh, this router is the active router and the standby router is 172.16.10.3 and the virtual ip address is 172.16.10.1 you can check this, uh, the commands that are configured on this router with the command show run interface gi 0 slash 1. Here we can see that the standby group 10 is defined and the uh, virtual IP address is this one and that we can see also that the uh, preemption is enabled. I need to change the priority because I uh, didn't run the command as, if, as I should. I didn't specify the group 10 and this is why the priority is the default priority. Let's go back in the configuration mode. Of there. Interface GI 0 slash 1. I will run the command snow standby 0 priority. No standby zero priority 120 and I will add the command standby 10 priority 120 and I exit from the configuration mode I'll check to see if the priority was changed from the default 100 to 120 show standby now we can confirm that 120. Let's save the configuration. You can save the configuration with the WR command or you can save the configuration with the copy running config, start config and press enter. Now let's go to the Windows machine. Let's confirm that the I Let's confirm the network settings for the virtual machine. For this, run the command ipconfig. Okay, so this VMs has the IP address 172.16.10.100 and the default gateway is 172.16.10. Let's confirm that we are able to ping the default gateway. I will run the command 172.16.10.1. The ping is successful. Now let's uh, check the internet connectivity. I will run the command ping 8.8.8.8 As you can see I am able to reach the internet. Now I will run the trace up uh, trace set command to show you the path through which the, the packet uh, uh, through which the, the traffic is flowing. As we know uh, right now the current active router is the R2 so normally we should see the IP address of the R2 router it should be 172.16.10.2 let's confirm this trace set 8.8.8.8 so as we can see the traffic is flowing through the router R2. This is the IP address of the router R2. 
Now let's simulate a failure on the router R2 and let's check if the connectivity to the internet will be maintained. I will run uh, a continuous pin on this machine pin 8.8.8.8 and I'll add the flag dash T and I'll press enter. Now I'll go to the router and I will shut down the interface on which HSRP is configured. I will run the command interface gi0 slash 1 shut down. I will go right right away as you can see some syslog messages are generated and if you go on the switch and check the show standby let's run with the brief option we can see that the active router is the switch at the moment also from the uh, ping output we can see that the packet is flowing without any issue so we we are still able to reach the the internet even if our router or the interface of the router r2 is in a down state let's stop the ping command and let's confirm that the traffic is flowing now through the switch for this i will run the same command tracer 8.8.8.8 i will show i will also add the diagram here we have the confirmation that the traffic is flowing through the switch right now because the switch has the IP address 172.16.10.3 now if the router interface let's go back to the router and let's uh, activate the interface let's uh, run the command no shutdown the interface changed its status to from down to up and if we run the show standby brief command we can confirm that at for the moment the state is listened but in a couple of seconds we need to see that this router will become the active router because we have configured the preemption and as you can see a syslog message was generated which says that for this interface the active router we changed the state changed from the standby to the active and if we run show standby brief command we have the confirmation that this router is once again the active router and this is the router which uh, which is forwarding the traffic from the for the local area uh, network from the LAN from the windows machine let's run the ping command one more time to confirm that the connectivity is still there and let's confirm that the traffic is flowing through the router r2 uh, I need to run trace out, not ping, just a second, let me run trace out, 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. Now we have the final confirmation that the traffic is flowing through the router R2 I hope you liked this video and I hope that in your environment you'll use a protocol like HSRP for having a more resilient environment. Thank you for watching my video and until next time goodbye.